Okay, guys, I'm in Dubai. I'm here from Brazil, Rio to Dubai. 15 hour flight. Like, aviation is so interesting. It's so cool. But, anyways, the Buckingham Palace are certainly panicking when it comes to the Spanish press and what they are saying. Hey, guys, it's Rob Moraldi. Hopefully, you guys are all doing well today. Back again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. Comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. And let's get into this. I'm going to be jet lag as hell. I can just see it coming because it is 3 a.m. in the morning and I'm wide awake because it's like 7 p.m. in Rio. But, you know, it is what it is. But we've got to get into this. Um, there have been several tweets that have gone viral since Concha had come out with her in, um, discussion on, you know, Fiesta. In, in, and I've covered it in the last three videos. So we all should know what the update is with Kate. Now, the reason why Buckingham Palace are panicking is because People magazine have just, you know, commissioned a story let's just say an hour ago that's just been released where it's discussing how kate middleton and prince william are preparing prince george for royal duties and how they're helping him teaching him and giving him lessons and that kate is being patient with him yet again these in my opinion are fake stories this is damage control when concha came up first and said that she was medically induced buckingham palace put out a statement they were furious now as soon as she's come out and said this in this interview and there's been several viral tweets now to support what is going on yet again people magazine have now commissioned a story to state that kate middleton is very busy with her children doing xyz saying that you know with george there's a sense that you know there's a priority here and they you know kate's been very busy you know laying it out for him and basically explaining how active she's being with her children. Concha did say that that half-term holiday situation, which was after her surgery, was a fake lie to make it look like she's been busy. The secretary story was leaked again to look like she was busy, which is what they've also said. Now, People Magazine, and you know when something comes from People, it's been commissioned or confirmed by another source, or somebody said something. People have a rep, do you understand? So when you listen to People, you think, oh, it's the truth. I definitely believe the palace gave this to People via their PR, to say this is what is going on with kate let's give them the update and people are like okay this is an exclusive let's run the story because you know where people we can grab you know money and etc whatever whatever i don't believe this to be true i don't believe anything in regards to kate teaching teaching george the royal protocols and she's been so busy with him doing xyz you know before it was she's busy working on her laptop let's not forget that the next thing it was her moving around with her family for a half-time holiday now the next thing is a private secretary and now the next thing is that she's helping her children with the royal protocols and also sending them to the right schools and visiting these schools and etc these are all the updates of kate being so busy after surgery and we have not seen a picture of proof not only that but every time concha speaks every time the spanish press speaks there always seems to be some form of reaction from the palace 24 hours after which is two words guys damage control so i just saw this and i wanted to give you guys a quick update i'm filming this from my phone just so that i can give you guys some content from what is going on but it certainly looked like to me that buckingham palace are panicking in some kind of way and they're looking to do damage control which is what they love to do guys they love to do damage control 24 7 and i have no idea why but what i do know is that my skin looks flawless right off a plane right off a 15 hour flight wow and although it's 3 a.m in the morning i'm gonna go to a restaurant and eat because your boy is hungry that was a long ass flight 15 hours guys is insane and there were three babies in my circumference that were crying like crazy and i just wish that there were flights available where no babies are allowed i don't know if this is controversial but like with babies it's just insane because they're going to just keep crying and they can't control it and you just can't sleep properly so it's just annoying but having said that I'm grateful and blessed that I flew so far. I flew all over Latin America, all over Africa to land in Dubai. It's such a long distance. I'm grateful and blessed that I've arrived in Dubai safely and sound. Brazil was amazing. I'm working on a Brazil vlog to hopefully come out. And I appreciate the love that you guys have sent me in regards to the videos that I'm doing of the white noise, sitting by the beach, you know, or with the torrential rain. It was just an idea in my head. And, you know, you, some of you guys clearly love it. So I will endeavor to provide more no matter where I am in the world. Subscribe to the channel. It's just one click. Comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video.